Congratulations. Thank you, thank you. Where are you right now for the draft? I'm I'm back home in Utah with my my wife and my family. All right. What uh, what's just your reaction to being selected to the Cowboys? Man, I'm I'm speechless. You know, I'm I'm absolutely speechless. You know, I've loved. You know, I grew up uh, a Cowboys fan. I actually, you know, I was that was like my first costume as a as a child. Like first Halloween, I was in a cowboy helmet and a <laughs> cowboy jersey. But um, you know, it's just a, such a surreal moment. I mean, I've worked really hard for this moment, and um, I'm just I'm happy to be a cowboy. I'm proud. I'm I'm ready to roll. Why are you a Cowboys fan? It's been a long time since they won a Super Bowl. <laughs> right. You know. I, hey, I mean, it's just, it is what it is. Um, I mean, I've, I've, it's just how I grew up and, and, you know, my family's, you know, loved Texas in general. So, I mean, um, just, I mean, Cowboys in general is just, it's, it's phenomenal. I'm, I'm just, I'm excited. So what did the costume look like? I, I was wearing a Cowboys jersey and a Cowboy helmet. <laughs> I'll have to, I'll have jersey? to find that picture. Who was the jersey of? Do you remember? I, oh, I don't, I don't know. I gotta, I gotta go back and look at it. Your last game, I think you had 230 yards and three touchdowns. Just uh, why were you able to kind of go off like that and, you know, what was working for you? Yeah, I'd say just, just opportunity. I was able to get my shot and, and, you know, more targets than I've ever had. And um, they started using me more on other other routes rather than, you know, just to take the top off guy. You know, I am that guy that, that can do that at a, an elite level. But, um, you know, there's more to my game, and I'm excited to, to work on my craft and obviously work with some of the best receivers that um, in the league with, with the Cowboys. You know, Mari, CD, you got Gallup. It's, I mean, and you also got a, a beast like Dak throwing you the ball. So I'm excited. Looks like you, you blocked a field goal in college. How much did they talk to you about, you know, special teams and those kinds of things? No, I'm sure. I'm sure they haven't really mentioned it at all, but, you know, I'm sure um, I'm going to come in and, and be able to make an immediate impact on special teams, you know, with my size, speed, and, and ability, you know, I have no problem coming in and, and playing. Looks like you've been kind of busy. Did you get married uh, during the pandemic? Uh, I did. I did. Right as soon as the pandemic started, actually, I've been married for about a year to this date. So it's, you know, it's it's been great. She's going to come with me to Texas. She loves Texas. So um, we're we're excited. Oh, Is today so. your anniversary? <laughs> what was that? Is today your anniversary? No, it was it was is actually end of March, so um, <laughs> just a little bit past. Have you had a honey, chance for a honeymoon yet, or no? What was that? You had a chance for a honeymoon it's, yet? No, no. I guess we're taking our honeymoon to Texas. <laughs> <laughs> How many people were you able to have at your wedding? Because of the pandemic. Um, it was just immediate family, so there was about maybe 20 of us, her side 10, and my side probably 10. That's fair. How much do you think teams, you know, they're, they're obviously looking at your, your quarterback there at Stanford that they, they, they saw you too during this process as they were looking at him? Well, sorry, what was the first part of that question? With Davis Mills and, and what he was able yeah. to do. How much do you think yeah, Dave, people saw I you? I mean, Dave obviously, yeah. Yeah, Dave obviously brought a lot of, you know, hype to the, um, the table, you know, he's a great quarterback, freak talent, has great arm. Um, and, you know, a lot of his highlights, you know, he was throwing me the ball. And, that, I mean, we had a good connection. So, um, when they came to see Davis, they, uh, you know, they saw me. Why do you think your best football is still ahead of you? What was that? Why do you think your best football is still ahead of you? Yeah, I'd say that, you know, I'm still raw. I'm, I'm undeveloped. All I need is one person to, you know, really to learn from and, and I think that with my, you know, God-given abilities and gifts, then um, there's no reason that I can't be the, the best wide receiver in this draft class, if not the league. So you're fairly undeveloped. Is that just because of experience, or, or what do you count that? Um, yeah, I would say just I, I, for me at Stanford, given the offense that I was in, you know, I was just only that deep threat guy. So I didn't have much of that, um, I guess, repetition or experience at, and, you know, those other smaller routes where um, – Maybe I would have if I went to, like, a, a place where they throw the ball 24-7. So, um, you know, obviously at the end of the day, I'm just excited. How many were supposed to be at your wedding? What, what was that? How many people were supposed to be at your wedding? Uh, so I'm half Polynesian, so uh, my dad's side's pretty big. It go, 
I'm sure uh, everyone in and everyone that's Polynesian, I mean, they'd say that they're my cousin. They would have showed up. So uh, we, I, I would have said, you know, over over a couple hundred. So yeah, how, how special was the this trip to Korea? You know, obviously you did that for religious reasons, and how important was that for you to do that? It was huge. I feel like for me, that was an opportunity where I, it took me, um, it gave me a chance to, to really mature. I feel like, um, you know, going and dropping yourself in the middle of a, a foreign country, not knowing the language, culture, or anybody there, um, and having to learn that. You, you're, you're on your own, and you have to learn that by yourself. Um, you know, I, 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 I relied on my mom for 18 years to do, you know, cooking, cleaning, laundry, all that. And then, I, you know, I graduated high school June, 5, uh, June 7th and hopped on a plane June 15th. And you know, I was in Korea, and I had to do it all by myself. It makes you grow up real fast. Congratulations again. Oh, with the correct pronunciation of your, your full name, do you mind? Just want to make sure we get that right. Yeah, yeah. I go by Simi Fehoko. Simi Fehoko. Thank, oh, thank you. Thank you. Have a great day.